Hi, beautiful Gemini. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Gemini, this is your love reading, and I've set the time frame to basically all of May. It's the beginning of May until the beginning of June. So let's see what's going on for you for your love story for this upcoming time frame. <clears throat> I'm starting with one deck here to just get an overall picture, and then we're just going to go deeper and deeper into these energies. Uh, it's not a quick fix reading. Gemini, love. What is going on for you? Just need to focus a little. I can't talk too much. Gemini. We've got nothing. <laughs> nothing this month. <clears throat> there you go. Something, and that's it. Wow. One card. Uh, yeah, it's not a quick fix reading. I go deeper and deeper and it's more towards the end that I have like a full view of what's going on for you. And then we take it into the extended reading to go even deeper if you feel like this is your reading. Uh, Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body and spirit. So there seems in love, the overall picture here seems to be that you've been healing a lot. You've been healing your mind. You've been healing your body. And I'm not too keen on, I know it says spirit, but spirit doesn't really need healing. Spirit is basically top top notch notch top uh as it is uh, but maybe emotionally emotionally physically and mentally like all the rest of the body is there has needed some sort of healing and you're coming out i see this tree tree of life life of tree <laughs> there's like a back and forth all the time like a tree of life it's a tree of life uh starting to grow inside of you and there's a lot of butterflies there's one specific butterfly that sort of has a special message there. Let's see what that message is about. Because you see uh, blue butterflies on the top here, which le leads me to say that there has been grand transformation there for you. But then there's another uh, butterfly sitting down here that has a specific message. Uh, so butterflies for me comes with a transformation and message. And today the transformation also is like before the butterfly becomes the butterfly is actually the caterpillar, which is a uh, lot of in Swedish. Um, and you know the caterpillar is like its own little species all it crawls on the ground it it moves in a very funny way and it's um it's limited to what it can do both i guess mentally and physically and once you know they completely shift their whole it's interesting because the 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 butterfly the caterpillar is the butterfly and the butterfly is like an extension of the caterpillar but when you look at them separately they have absolutely nothing with each other to do so there's something about your grand transformation that i mean we can say that you come from an egg where it all started you came from an egg and out of the womb of a of a woman's body and obviously if we sort of compare that it has nothing to do with who you now are it's completely different um so it's like the evolution of you we're talking about. But I feel like there's something that has happened lately um, or in your life, like uh, recent years up until now, that has made you go from a caterpillar version into a butterfly version. Let's just clarify straight away. Like, what is the message of this butterfly, please? What's the message of this butterfly? The message of this butterfly is that you're not going to be single. So if you're single, um, if you're single, Gemini, uh, you're not going to be single for too long because you're coming out of this stalemate. You're coming out of this um, where it has been a bit blocked, a bit icy, a bit stagnant. Five of Ariel is overcoming stuff in love there. Overcoming stuff. <laughs> overcoming. Where you've healed a lot and you've overcome things. Uh, within yourself and maybe even overcoming a relationship uh, but there's a great opportunity for change here and when it comes to love and in comes this two of Raphael so there's healing there's healing in love and there's two people coming together dedicated two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful kindred spirits don't give up on those you love and so yeah this this butterfly is actually coming in with the extra message that when it comes to love specifically, you're going to come out of this stagnant situation 
and you're actually going to meet somebody that's your kindred spirit your divine counterpart is coming in here what a beautiful start um was there something else yeah i saw uh like the noah's ark with two of everyone two of every every animal it's very small there but maybe you see them like two horses two llamas uh two what are they foxes i think just two of every every um animal there so it's like a little bit of a noah's ark so the feeling i get here is that wh whatever you're coming together as two you're coming together as two yes um but there's this saving it's like i don't know how to explain this it, it, Okay, so Noah's Ark is all about like, okay, so Noah built this Ark and because he wanted to save people from the flood coming, he got messages about the flood coming and I just had this feeling like, okay, so whatever you saved within yourself, whatever you saved, like if we compare, if we compare metaphorically the Noah's Ark uh, to, to you, like your personal journey your individual journey here is like whatever you saved within yourself whatever uh you just had this feeling that whatever led up to this place where you needed to come together with like-minded people like you needed to get out of a situation that wasn't fitting for you anymore however that looked however even if it's like a catastrophic situation as i've been brought to know as arc there it's like it might not have been that catastrophic or it was it was just a situation that you needed to get out of and it's like um it's now like a okay and i'm not i'm now gonna pair up with my kindred spirit it's like more more of um after that situation more and more people are like coming together with the person that they're supposed to be with if that, if that makes any sense okay uh so clarification going deeper into this message what do we have for gemini please uh <clears throat> so the first part out is round and round and this to me first i want to say that what really stands out there is this is the seashell feeling it's the uh to really pay attention to what's going on there for you to really listen to your intuition your inner guidance is telling you the journey that you're on where to go next if there's an impulse with inside of you listen to that impulse and follow it to the best of your ability if there's a if there's a voice telling you to do a certain thing or to keep away from a certain someone or contact a certain someone you know to just really try to pay attention and follow that guidance listen to what your intuition is saying at this time um, listen always 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 but extra much when it comes to your love story right now pay attention to your intuition number 25 there speaks about um, conversation and communication in relationships and there's a great opportunity for change there is an opportunity to come together with somebody where you have these beautiful conversations and like it's um if it has been like a journey up until this it was something else that i got with this other car there don't yeah right uh don't give up on those you love it's this feeling of having a conversation in relationships and then there's a great opportunity for change here and so we have two and we have two and five and together they make up a number seven like coming together they make up a number seven which is like okay now it's time to enjoy what you have created for yourself now it's time to if there's if there's already a person in your life if this kindred spirit is already in your life i feel like perhaps you haven't met them yet like physically or it's like um on a on a text mess message level or like a, on a on a chatting level or a talking on the phone level but perhaps not meeting in person or you just know that they're out there uh to sort of not give up on this person to f to continue to feel to continue to listen have this con conversation whether it's in your mind that you're not crazy whether it's in your mind or or whether it's actually with that person to not give up on those you love because it's like 
it might feel like this is a little bit different than the rest. Like maybe perhaps in the past you come together with somebody, the normal thing is to just, uh, I don't know if it's, yeah, I guess it's normal, but like the normal thing is to just, okay, so we, you strike an interest in somebody or like you feel like there's a spark there and you're interesting. You're interesting. You're very interesting, Gemini. But like you're interested in what they're about and you want to meet them and maybe you go see them for drinks or coffee or dinner or whatever, dinner or movie. Um, and then like if it feels good, you can like, can we see each other again, etc., etc. And And it's like, I don't get that vibe here whatsoever. I don't know if it's due to the pandemic or if it's due to what it's about. But it's like um, they're there, but nothing is really happening and and they're telling you to not give up if this is a situation where uh you're just single and you don't you have nobody to think about you if like however much you search in your brain <laughs> like there's nobody there um i you have a full brain but the person you're thinking about like no you don't have a specific someone that you're thinking about to not give up, even though it feels like it has taken forever for you, if there's been a lot of healing for you that needed to take place first and you sort of almost became a little bit cynical, Gemini, is asking you to not give up. This round and round, it feels like, okay, you just go round and round in circles and there's really nothing there. It is. Don't lose... See what, it, see what I'm doing here? Don't, don't lose faith. Because it's faded. Because it's... <laughs> I'm, I'm so funny. Um, it's faded. It's like it's supposed to happen. It's going to happen. Number 17 there speaks about immortality. Adding those up, we have the infinity sign, number 8. So, so 17 is immortality. That to me speaks about transcending... Transcending um, caterpillar to butterfly. There's something really yummy there. Caterp caterpill caterpillar to a butterfly transcending that transcending species transcending uh like like upgrading your dna uh going from this old version to this new version and also i feel like so you and this person has had a lot of lifetimes together before this lifetime immortality it transcends all lifetimes like it doesn't death doesn't mean anything death smash who smashed who cares like we're gonna see each other again and wow so there might be an actual right for some of you guys this is there's a little bit of a separate stories here going on because it could be people also like you've already have like you have your eye on somebody and then there could be this person who's just completely single you don't actually have you don't ha you haven't met somebody but there there's this knowing there's this this deep knowing about you that it's faded you just have this feeling that they're out there you just know that they're out there and they are and you've met this person so many times before uh the stars are aligning the stars are definitely aligning aligning they're coming into alignment why are they coming into alignment because you've done a lot of healing and I feel, excuse me, I feel like the healing needed to take place first. And actually, I'm starting to see a th collective thread here. Uh, when stuff comes out over and over again uh, for several readings in a row uh, or, or signs in a row, I, I there's just this collective feel that, okay, this is not just going on for this sign or for this little group within the sign. This is going on for the collective. So there's a lot of healing taking place for the collective right now. There's a lot of stuff coming to the surface and there's a lot of things that you just need. Whatever you have put under the rug before, like swept on, swept under the rug or maybe didn't want to talk about it, or maybe like stuff is just coming to the surface right now and you need to deal with it and you probably have dealt with it. And when you've stepped into this situation now where you are more and more becoming healed, you're stepping out of this stagnant and very still, quite the solo journey. You might have... You might have, like, I see these as almost as people, like the, the pent I guess that these are pentacles. You see these as, um, like, people being around you. And even though, uh, Gemini, you've had a lot of people around you, I see this solo, like, you, you could f feel quite lonely at times. 
you can be a very happy go lucky seeing a lot of people being around people and they would not have a clue how lonely you can get at 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 times but that's changing because you're you're connecting with your true soulmate your your kindred spirit your divine counterpart it's happening because you've had a lot of healing taking place there I started out with uh, sunglasses today because it was so sunny and then I don't need them now because we basically I'm indoors and it's not sunny anymore um it was something else there right you just have this feeling that they're gonna come in stars are aligning they're aligning because you are aligning you are full of stars you're full of alignment and therefore alignment matches alignment and then you're not just because you're in alignment you're not you're not just going to meet any any old person any just anyone this is faded it's very very predetermined before coming into this lifetime it feels like you have already decided whenever it's going to be um when we have a little bit more in our lives like a little bit more meat on our legs as i would say in swedish um when you know a little bit more about yourself who you are who you who you become and in this lifetime, perhaps even going from the third dimensional reality into a fifth dimensional reality, like you've done an upgrade within yourself, within a DNA, that's probably the caterpillar into the butterfly situation. Why that's so important? It's the butterfly that's coming with the message. It's not the caterpillar, right? So it's the butterfly that's coming with the message that you're going to come out of this stagnant and stale situation where you feel quite lonely and you're going to meet your kindred spirit. Who you were supposed who you who you were fated to meet uh but it's not the caterpillar that's going to meet this person so if you've run into this person earlier on in your life it wasn't a match then because you were both caterpillars if that makes sense you needed to go through this transformation first you needed to find yourself in this new upgraded dna version first and now you can draw each other in I love that. So what can we say about this situation? <clears throat> Another two is coming out here. Flip, but they didn't come out. Oh, wow. If you listened to me before, you know that unicorns and peacocks are my indicator that a soulmate connection is around. And so if flip, but didn't come out, it just wanted to show you. There's un two unicorns meeting up there and it's the number two there again. So it's like a, it's the relationship. It's a balance within the relationship. It's happening, people. It's faded. What else can we tell Gemini about this situation? The face. <clears throat> What's the face about? Face. I was going to say, oh my God, that's so many cards. Okay. You want me to keep them so I will. Gemini, you're about to step into something really beautiful. You've done so much work on yourself. Uh, this is for me talking about all the chakras, like the red and the green and the blue and the yellow and so forth. Like you've done a lot of work on yourself, with yourself. You really are, we have a wishing well there, but I feel today that the well is you. Like you're digging deep. You're not afraid of, like you're not afraid of, understanding like there, there's people walking around which i do not i can't understand it like why don't people why doesn't you know everybody search do a little research on yourself why isn't that interesting for everyone but it's not a lot of people wants to stay on the surface for whatever reason they want to stay on the surface because sometimes it can be really tough to figure out what's underneath it all it's really scary sometimes you're not scared of that you have done your fair share of research within yourself and uh, most of late it's been all about the solar plexus. Have you not, have I, have I not told you, have you not heard that yet, um, that I posted this, um, I did this, I received this message from my guides about the solar plexus upgrade. I just was sort of presented to it over and over again. The solar plexus just kept coming out and I was like, okay, I'm just going to sit down and see what this is about. So there's like an explosion in your solar plexus area from like a next level. I, 
we talk a lot about the heart and we talk a lot about um like your how your mind uh, how your mind your brain is not really the brain but the heart is really the brain the heart is really at the root at, at everything I'd say solar plexus has a huge part in all of it, huge part. And it seemed to be have, you know, done a little research there lately um, where you have discovered more your, of your self-worth. This is more learning to manifest stronger, manifest more instantaneously stuff you want rather than stuff that you don't want. And getting your ducks in a row, like getting your stuff together, understanding what path you're on and understanding what you're looking for, truly. Um, <clears throat> and healing also. Seven, um, seven there again speaks about um, the completion of something. Like it's, it's time for you to enjoy what you have created for yourself. The healing is done. Raphael is the healer. Raphael is saying the healing is done. It's seven. It's like it's time to now enjoy this little apparatus that you're walking around in. And you've done some sort of upgrade. Um, and you're ready to meet the person. It's like, like I said, unicorns and peacocks are my indicator um, that this person is coming in. And we have again the unicorn there. It's the sun card. So it's so much happiness that's being brought to, brought to you through this relationship. Number 19 there, numerology-wise, speaks about um, your prince or princess of heaven. So it's just a, one match after the other coming in with this card. It's so beautiful. And then we had a little four, four other cards coming out. I don't do reversals because I don't. it's not a typical tarot reading. Um, there's a third number two coming out. Um, so... We have two, three, four here on the table, which talks about that this is a journey. It has been a journey. It has been a process. It's still a process for you. It's a process for everybody, but it's so under it's so understanding. It's so important that you understand. Um, uh, I said this to another sign, which was Aries. It was Aries that I said, slow and steady wins the race. When the turtle shows up, it's like all about slow and steady wins the race. And it might, you know, you might like it that you need to practice patience. But there's something here that says there is a, it's a process. It's one thing after the other. It's a natural, if you let this love unfold, if you let it sort of, as you read a book, the story unfolds, right? And as you as you read a book, you don't, unless you're really curious, you, you skip to the very end and you read how the end ends and then you go back and, you know. Um, if you can have that in your mind though, or in your mind, um, <laughs> in your stomach, um, if you can have it in your, in your mind that, okay, the result here is not in question, it's faded. You're supposed to meet this divine counterpart. It's not, that's not up for like debate. That's all done. So if that's your going to the back of the book and, and, and reading, whoever's reading books, by the way, I think I can count easily on one hand how many books I've read in my entire life. I'm not joking. Um, so whoever reads books, if you go, uh, but metaphorically, you're with me, right? Uh, you're going to the end of the book and you find out how it, how it ends. Only you don't have to find out. You're telling it how it's going to end. You're saying, I'm going to meet my divine counterpart. And, and not only am I going to, like randomly meet them it's faded we've already decided this so it's not up for debate what is up for debate is how much you uh rush this how much you hinder it to come in something that's already already done it's like having a car parked on, outside and you're just so freaking everywhere so that you don't find the key to drive it and if you just follow, if you just take one page at a time, one chapter at a time, and don't skip any chapters, don't jump any chapters, uh, you'll get to your faded relationship. But there's something with the process here that's very important to just follow the process, okay? Uh, so the two here is talking about, again, conversation and, and um, communication in relationships and whether you are having that out loud with a person or whether you are having that conversation in your mind, um, whatever resonates with you there. So this is talking about, um, that's very Gemini, very on the edge there, 
uh, balancing the yin yang with the infinity sign. So there's the number eight there again, if infinity, like you're coming into balance with yourself. This is a little bit like, I don't want to say that it's ridiculous. You, you can live your life this way if you want to, but there's something say, saying here that, okay, you don't have to put yourself so much out there, if that makes sense. I think this is just a little side note and it's not, not going to be for everybody. There's something about you don't have to put yourself out there so much. And I don't think, it doesn't mean um, you don't have to put yourself out there. Like, it doesn't mean that you ha don't have to go on, a, on 20 dates per week. You don't have to put yourself out there in the sense that you're on an internet dating site and you just constantly are trying to chat with people so that you're going to meet the right person. If this is the case, then then take that however that resonates with you as well. But I feel like there's there's a little bit of a <laughs> sorry. There's a little bit of a rushed. Like, uh, are you are you having trouble saying no, Gemini? a little bit of trouble saying no and so it's like it, you're I'm not saying that you're about to to burn out but I'm saying uh that it's a little bit warm is what I'm saying you don't have to put yourself out there so much like you don't have to say yes to everything there's something about starting to say no to things and actually become a little bit more about you and only you and take that silent moment for only yourself seems to be very important right now uh queen of michael talks so much about your growth here the queen is all about the maturity it's because it's what you become it's what the wise ass that you now are you you're matured so much lately and this is giving you an opportunity do you see all the butterflies in the back there this woman is sitting on her throne, being very, very comfortable in that throne, very, very confident, very um, feeling worthy. And there's so many butterflies behind her talking about this grand transformation that you've done. You've done so well, Gemini. This is leading you into um, this new relationship. I feel like you're starting this new foundation. And before there is a heart matter, it's a heart matter for love. You're laying a new foundation for yourself and you're now ready to sort of meet your kindred spirit because you're there yourself. You're now the empress. This is the most balanced, the most, she knows what, she knows who she is. It's not a gender specific reading, so this is obviously for a man as well. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants. She goes after what she wants. Um, she is confident. She knows her worth. She's completely dressed in sort of gold and brown there, which speaks about balance for me. She's just all of that and then some. I'm going to take this into the extension uh, of this reading and see what else I can find there for you. If you feel like this resonates with you, you're so welcome to the extended reading. Um, the link to that is in the description box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching, Gemini, and I, uh, I hope to see you back soon. Take care.